And action! Brothers Bistro. Recipe so simple, even a dude can make it. Hi, I'm Skinny Kenny. He's Skinny Kenny. Well, I'm Muscle and Cam, and we're the Car Brothers. Welcome to Brothers Bistro. Buddy, I heard we got some fun yeah, in You're so loud all the time. <laughs> I had to get you back for the last time. <laughs> What's this thing called we're doing well, tonight? Well, first we got to tell them if they're on YouTube, they got to turn on the notification, hit the subscribe, and give us a big thumbs up. That's a prerequisite. That way you don't miss any of this stuff coming at you. We, you know, if we worked overtime this time, we got three of these episodes done in a short period of time so that we can have them all stacked up to release them. Yeah. When I go to save the country in the... Uh, when, you, when you head out to set the fire, I mean, fight, let, uh, put out the fires? Right, right, yeah. right, right. So this recipe today is called shrimp salad. Shrimp capuchana salad. It's actually good. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do some things we haven't oh done before. Oh my gosh! We're, last time we used an air fryer. This time we're using. We're a, gonna use the broiler, a food processor, and a food processor. Holy both, cow. right? So we're really working overtime. This now. is way beyond us. It, it's only got a few ingredients, and I'm, <laughs> fingers crossed, it'll be pretty easy. It's gonna to be do. awesome. Well, does it look too bad? No, no, no. I got my stuff over here. You got your stuff over yeah. there. Kev's got the protein and all the mixing. So I'm gonna make the kind of the puree, and this is where we're gonna introduce a, uh, the food processor, which we've never used before, yeah. right? Could, be, and, could go way wrong. And we're gonna introduce the broiler. So we're gonna basically, I'm gonna chop the, uh, the whites off of these onions. They also call them shallots, so don't be confused. Scallions. Scallions, scallions. they call them scallions. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I chop those off. All of these things get a little um, um, olive oil and then they go in, but you gotta also know that this whole thing is a garlic bulb. One little piece is a clove, and this recipe calls for a clove, so don't be confused by that. So I'm gonna take the, take a- We uh, had we had a hot bite on that. We did, we did. And, and we're, so we're gonna put all this in the broiler for like five to 10 minutes. Everything's gonna kind of soften up a little bit and get a little uh, a, a charred. And then uh, we're gonna put them in a food processor and grind them up a little bit. Right, there's a soap. couple of little prep things that my brother missed because he doesn't always pay attention to the details. But we have to pull the core <laughs> out of the tomato and we have to pull the end off of the jalapeno. That's true. And the little, and the little roots off of the, the roots. But it is all gonna go into the, into the food yeah, processor. Yeah, they're, they're gonna go into the oven, into the broiler, just like this. We're just gonna right. put a little olive oil Mix on it and put them in. And then I've got the shrimp, and you got to recognize that the, the recipe calls for uncooked shrimp. If you've never seen uncooked shrimp in the market, it's blue. Yeah. And when you cook it up, it turns this pink white. And we got ours, this is from Brother Bistro, fully cooked, deveined, the whole bit, deshelled. Shell. But what they don't remove is the little, the little tail. tail. So you can do the tail by pulling it, but it'll usually take off its last little end, or you can just grab it at the back, and you can pinch it a little bit, and it comes off and it leaves basically most of it that was in there out. And then this part just gets tossed away and that's good. So I'm gonna combine all of this along with our avocado dice. So we're gonna have to pull the seed out, we're gonna dice it up, and then we're gonna combine all this stuff. And then when he's done with that, with this puree, yeah. we're gonna combine it all together. Well, walk us through what you got there. What are the ingredients? Oh, that's true. What is this? That's cilantro, fresh oh, cilantro. You love we cilantro. It, we got it right out of the grocery store. It's live. We cut off the tips and then we, we, we chop it up a bit. I know we don't like doing that, but but this kind of called for it, and we didn't want to dry it. This is fresh squeezed lemon juice. Stop no, lime juice. Our, our lime juice. I know. Yeah. Kevin doesn't know the difference between cucumber and, and zucchini, and he doesn't know the difference between lemon and lime. Juice. He's hard now. Lime. Okay, so we squeeze this out just like we showed it on hot bite. We flipped it out inside out. It took two limes to squeeze enough juice. Uh, for that, and then we got salt and pepper and oregano. Oregano, right? And that's and this is, that's brought to us by McCormick. We're still looking for that endorsement deal. It's been a year and a half. We're running out of patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would think by now they would have come around, but they haven't quite yet. I think so. all 332 subscribers should write a letter to McCormick and tell them what a great job. We'll give you the template. You just send. <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, and all of that stuff's gonna be poured over the top of right. our, our salad. Basically, we're, create, we're creating a little bed of lettuce. We're gonna have the shrimp and a little bit of a juice puree kind of a thing over there. And uh, you know, fingers crossed that this doesn't go terribly yeah. wrong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ready. We're gonna come back and we're gonna show you how we dice up the avocado. 
and then this stuff is gonna be in the broiler cooking and it takes five to 10 minutes. So you got your avocado, right? You got it cut in half and you don't know how to get the seed out because it's kind of buried in there. You don't want to dig it out with your hands. My brother will show you how to do it. So you just take a sharp knife, you stab it like that, you rotate a little bit and look, look, comes right out. Hey, 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 don't stab me with that thing. It's easiest when you do it in here. So you cut it one way in the, in the shell or in the skin and then you cut it the other way and then we're gonna spoon it out. Hey! Did you just hear that? I didn't hear anything. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. That timer. That timer left. That's our stuff in the boiler. Let's right get the boiler. How's it look, buddy? Wow, it looks royal. Wow, it's sizzling. I can hear it from here. Woo! Okay, so over here we got the garlic clove. And then we got the scallions, right? That's what they're called? Yeah. And then we got the jalapeno, and we got the tomatoes, and we gotta decor the tomatoes, and we gotta pull the stem off the jalapeno, so we're gonna let this cool. Also, we gotta pull the roots off the, the scallions. So we're gonna let this cool so we don't burn ourselves. Okay, we got our bad boy food processor. This thing's a ninja. They make all kinds of different brands, but basically it's a fancy thing for a blender. It's a fancy name for a blender. And we're gonna take all this stuff that got, we decored our lemon, I mean our lemon, we decored our tomato, we took off the stem of the jalapeno, and we took the skin off of the garlic cloves and the roots off of the onions. And, we're gonna and we didn't make it look very pretty because remember, it's just going there to yeah, get blended. Right. And I took the avocado, the cilantro, and a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of lemon juice, mixed it all up in here, and then basically dumped it in here, and we are gonna blend up or mix up our shrimp. So Ken's doing that. I'm gonna do this a little bit. Just get it kind of mixed around. Brother, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a smoothie here okay. in a minute. And now we got our shrimp over here. It's all blended up with the avocado, the cilantro, the olive right. oil, the salt and pepper. And now we're gonna pour this okay, do it. Show over me. the top of that. My brother doesn't even know how to take it off. No, that's the first time I've ever used it. Okay, wow. Oh, don't worry about the blades. Man down. I should have taken the blades out first. I didn't know they came out. So we're learning right with you guys. So don't think you gotta have this stuff all figured out. And then you're gonna get a spoon and he's gonna spoon it around. I'm just gonna mix it up. And this whole mixture now is gonna go over the top of the romaine lettuce that we're gonna pull apart and put on our plate. So the, the lettuce is gonna be on the base and this stuff's kinda gonna go on the top. It's gonna be super yummy. It looks pretty good. It looks delish. I'm hungry too. Despite the complication, it really wasn't that hard. Did you get it up in your mouth? <laughs> Did you hear that? You said despite the complication, it was pretty easy. <laughs> so if you decide you want to try this, let us know. I mean, obviously you got to have the the uh, the, tool, the power tools. You got to have the food processor to grind up the stuff. But it was pretty easy and it was pretty quick, actually. Yeah, yeah. No. Well, remember, the shrimp was pre cooked, so the rest of the stuff only went into the broiler for probably, five minutes. Yeah, it probably took 30 minutes all, all total. All total. It's pretty tasty and it's great for a summer afternoon. Summer it's evening. super healthy. Okay? So, uh, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you visit us at clarhealth.com because we got about 40 recipes over there. When you're there, you can check out some of the people that we've helped. You can fill out a health assessment if you'd like. Yeah. And you can contact us, connect with us and we would love to help you out. But more importantly, on one of the pages there, you can go to our recipes and you can pick any one of our healthy recipes. Super simple. Brothers Bistro, out.